long chain of amino acids. The problem for my experiment was how will the chemical preservative sodium benzoate compare to the natural preservative sodium fluoride in preventing bacterial growth over a period of five days? I hypothesized that the chemical preservative sodium benzoate would be much more efficient than the natural preservative. First, I created two 1,000 milliliter flasks, flasks of nutrient agar and put 40 teaspoons of sodium benzoate, the chemical preservative, into one and 40 teaspoons of the natural preservative, sodium fluoride, into the other. I then poured them each into 40 petri dishes, ending up with 80 petri dishes containing preservatives, and used students' hands to swab bacteria onto all 80 dishes. I then placed them all in the incubator and made observations to see how many plates of each type of preservative showed bacterial growth after three days and then did the same thing after five days. As you can see, my data showed with the sodium fluoride plates that after three days, already 13 out of the 40 dishes showed bacterial growth. That's 32% of the plates. And that just shows how short of a time period this natural preservative works for at preventing bacterial growth. After five days, you can see that all 40 plates showed bacterial growth. This shows how inefficient it was at preserving, at, at preserving for a long period of time. As you can see with the artificial preservative sodium benzoate, there's absolutely no bacterial growth after three days and after five days. My data shows that sodium benzoate, the chemical preservative, was much more efficient and twice as efficient as sodium fluoride was at preventing bacterial growth. Due to the fact that none of my sodium benzoate plates showed any bacterial growth after five days, I decided to wait and see how long it would take for bacterial growth to start to occur. I left them in the incubator and after 10 extra days of bacterial growth time is when the first signs of bacterial growth started to occur in the sodium benzoate plates and not even half of them did show bacterial growth, just further proving how much more efficient it was than the sodium fluoride. When considering whether you're going to buy a naturally preserved food or an artificially preserved food, one of the main factors is safety. Due to the fact that all artificial preservatives have to be approved by the FDA, they are safe at this time, and none of the long-term health effects have been scientifically proven. Also, if you let a naturally preserved food sit out for too long or you don't eat it in the amount of time before it expires, the harmful bacteria that can grow on these foods could be more dangerous than these long-term health effects that are not proven of synthetic preservatives. Another factor to consider when choosing between the two different types of preservatives is the price. If you shop at Whole Foods where all foods are organic or naturally preserved, the food is much more expensive than buying foods at common grocery stores like ShopRite and Stop and Shop. This is a very controversial topic because, as you know, sodium benzoate being an artificial preservative was much more efficient than sodium chloride, the natural preservative. And because these natural preservatives aren't as efficient as most artificial preservatives, it's hard to say whether they should be priced higher or not. Overall, my hypothesis was supported because the artificial preservative sodium benzoate was much more efficient than the natural preservative sodium chloride at preventing bacterial growth. In future experiments, it'd be very interesting to test not only one type of preservative from each category, but several types of preservatives from each category to see if different types of natural preservatives might actually be as efficient as artificial preservatives can be. It would also be interesting to test antimicrobial metabolites, the live cultures, to see how those affect bacterial growth compared to synthetic preservatives and other natural preservatives. The reason I was not able to use these in my experiment is because being that Nissan is the only approved one by the FDA, it's hard to come by and very expensive. My project was significant because the recent hype surrounding naturally preserved foods is increasing more and more and more people are switching over to purchasing much more expensive naturally preserved foods when really it might not be worth it to purchase these higher prices. Thank you. Yeah.